<laughs> um, but as of right now, let's get a little bit into the series. Utah Jazz, LA Clippers, they're playing right now as we speak. Um, and they are up 1-0. And uh, I I'll have wait, to admit... the end. Yeah, don't look. I have to admit... Again, when this comes out, this game yeah. will have already happened. So, right. and I made so I made picks with Nick Clark here on our podcast episode. I picked the Clippers to make it to the finals, and I picked them to play the Brooklyn Nets, and I actually picked them to win. And uh, he picked the Jazz. So right now, one of us is wrong after this series. Well, I picked the Jazz because I'm one of like two Jazz fans in Las Cruces. So you picked the Jazz because you're a Jazz fan, but the Jazz were the number one team in the entire NBA. I'm also to point picking them. I I. I want them to win, so I'm going to say Jazz win, but I'm putting Brooklyn Nets are... Representing the East? Um, you think so? It's a lot of talent. I, I, I think it falls apart in the end. I think they look so good right now. I hope so. Um, and they're missing James Harden, so it gets, I could be completely wrong, but I, I, I don't think that a, those stars all come together and do it the first year. It's, they're so talented that maybe they mm. prove me wrong. Um, but I think... Uh, Let's kind of break down the Jazz series real quick. And we won't go too crazy into sports, but just a little bit on this one series. Um, the Utah Jazz versus the LA Clippers. I think that Donovan Mitchell is a star. I think Donovan Mitchell was a star last year when he went against Jamal Murray and they battled it out. I think Donovan Mitchell has looked like a star since his rookie year and just is now getting to the place where he kind of runs the whole thing. And so I'm really, really impressed with him. The team themselves stayed together, which is awesome. Can you imagine if Gordon Hayward stayed there, by the way? He left. Can you imagine Gordon Hayward on that team? Like how they're already good. I, I just think they would be on a whole nother level. Yeah, Rudy I, Gobert I did not want him to go. He ends up leaving. Yeah, whatever. I think. And then first game with the Celtics. Yes. So that's the second part <laughs> of that story. Imagine he never leaves and he also never <laughs> snaps his foot in half. Karma. Uh, because he's good. <laughs> he came back and he's good, but he's not as good as Utah Gordon Hayward. That right, guy was right, right, right. borderline. He was an all-star for sure, but almost a superstar. He was good. Right. Uh, but I think the Utah Jazz looks so impressive in the series. I still have the Clippers taking it. Um, and if they lose this game, they're down 0-2. 0-2 that looks really bad. Yeah. Um, but I can't help it. I think the yeah. Clippers. I mean, it's hard not to go it. for the Clippers. I get it. Like, I can't be mad about it. Well, you it's know? hard to it's- root for the Clippers, actually, because they fail epically every year. They, they they have a terrible track record. Playoff P is my favorite. You mean pandemic P? <laughs> <laughs> pandemic play. He just sucks in the he playoffs. He has been terrible these mm-hmm. last this last game. Yeah. Um, last few games actually, it's been pretty yeah. terrible. Uh, but thank God Kawhi's been killing it. Um, she got I, Clippers. Looks like you know. Looks like she. If they win today against the Jazz, it'll be because Paul George killed it. Yeah, that's, that's the only way on they win. They should. They because should. Because it was such out, a close game. They shut out the top two in this last game. The center's a problem for, for Gobert, though. Um, yeah, it's it, it'll be a good series. I have I still have the Clippers winning it. For people listening, uh, fight me in the comments if you don't agree with that. I think the Clippers are the deepest team, the best coach team, and have stars. Paul George is not proving me right. He's making me look terrible, but Kawhi Leonard looks amazing, looks like a stud. And watching Kawhi Leonard makes me enjoy watching defense. You, have you ever uh, the NBA is about offense. You want to see dunkers, three point shooters, dribblers watching Kawhi Leonard play defense is actually interesting. Not even just like the really intense basketball fan, which I am just watching him the way he plays. Mm-hmm. He is so good on defense. Yeah. So good. So smart. So intelligent. He's like a surgeon. Hands. He like dissects. He dissects what's going on. He knows what's going on a play ahead of time on defense. The way that guys like Rondo and Chris Paul can do an offense, mm. he really knows what he's doing on defense. Mm. And I love watching him play defense. Yeah. And the fact that he's also elite offensively now, he wasn't always, is amazing. And I mm. love watching him. Paul George used to be that guy. Mm. And I want everyone to be honest with themselves. Paul George isn't the same defender he used to be. Mm. He isn't even the same offensive player he used to be. He used to be a really good drive guy. He still is a little bit, but he's more finesse. He's the, mm-hmm. He used to dunk on dudes. Now he settles for a lot of threes, and he rarely plays defense at a defensive, at a high level. He makes really key defensive plays, so he tricks us, the viewer, into thinking he's still a good defender, but he's not. When you watch Kawhi and Paul George, which you have the luxury of doing every single time they play because they're on the same team, you really get to see how good Kawhi is and how yeah. not good Paul George is. Right. So I just want to point that right. out. That's my little segment on that. Yeah. I really think Paul George isn't quite the defender he used to be and that we're still giving him credit for. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. I think, yeah, I think Paul George is. is but I hope he comes through. 
everybody's like super team. I don't think it, Clippers are a super team because of Paul George. I think Kawhi Leonard's just that good that he unfortunately he, he kind of puts I think him you're right. The top, yeah, you know? yeah. Kawhi is just special, and I um, just hope that. Uh, I hope you're wrong, and I hope Paul George ends up being the star we know he can be. But you're right. As of right now, he doesn't look like a star. Well, though. with you saying how deep the Clippers were, I'm going to go back and say how deep the Jazz are. They won six man of the year. Yes. The defense of the Clippers. I'm going to go back and say Jazz just Jordan won defensive Clarkson player of the year. Is <laughs> so. not. Uh, he's not a six man. I mean, he literally was. He is a he six should, man. He should not be. That guy's so good. You're right. Um, they had the but runner they have, up too. They have, they have him there for yeah. Yeah, um, Joe Ingles. Yeah. Joe Ingles. There you go. They Who have, also should have, not be off. They the have Clarkson there for a reason. He definitely could be a starter, but he's 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 six man for a reason. He um he brings energy and. We, what is up with these late bloomers like J- Julius Irving or Julius Irving? I keep doing that. Julius Randle for the Knicks. Mm-hmm. Um, again, yep. a guy that they thought was just who he was. Uh, d- right, right, right. He came right. out of nowhere yeah. and we won most improved this year. Right. Same thing with Clarkson. He kind of looked like that's just the player he's going to be, and then he looks amazing. Yeah. And uh, I'll give the hey, fun random fact of the day. The Cookie Monster from Sesame Street has a real name, and his name is Sid. Not a lot of people know that. They just started calling him the Cookie Monster because that's what he is. Google it. And if it's true, which it is, come back here and subscribe.